All right, boys, today we are going to be talking about Budget Beasts. Now, Budget Beasts is always a little bit interesting. It's always the best cheap cards in Diamond Dynasty. Now, usually at the beginning of the year, I like to keep it real small. So I like to keep it with anything with below a 5,000 buy now order is classified as a Budget Beast that you get on your team. Now, later in the year, usually it goes up to about 15 or 20K, and we start talking about a lot more elite cards. But at the beginning of the year, you might be wondering, what are the best cheap cards I can get on my team? What are the guys that I need on my squad to win? Win some ball games against these god squads. What are the gold players that are going to get it done? And these are the guys that I use and I vouch for every single one of these cards. I'm either picking them because they have an absolutely just gross swing or a pitch mix. Their contact and power numbers are really good. Their inside edges are always up. Uh, guys like Jesse Winker make this list. That is an absolute platoon guy. So these are always kind of the wild cards that are going to be just as good as a lot of diamonds. A lot of the cards in this video hit bombs but don't field well. And if you're a guy who doesn't care about fielding, honestly, they're not that much different than a lot of these diamond cards, especially Jordan Alvarez, man. I still think that he has one of the most crisp swings in the game. And it's crazy how similar his stats are to like 88 and 90s, man. Jordan Alvarez is an elite, elite guy. So we're going to be going over the best cards in today's video. If you like this video, this video usually does well every year. Make sure you guys drop a like and a sub and uh, let's get right into it. All right, boys. So the first card that we are going to be talking about today is going to be mainly a bench bat, but it's one of the guys that I love as a platoon gold player. And that's going to be Jesse Winker. Now, this list is going to be everything under 5,000 stubs, and obviously Jesse Winker's only about 735 stubs. But Jesse Winker, man, he, I swear this guy's always playing up versus righties. Right now, he's going to be pretty close to 100 and 100 versus righties. Do not ever start this guy versus a lefty, but you can platoon this guy or make him a bench bat for 1,000 stubs. He's going to make the not 10 spots a day, and it's going to be Jesse Winker. At the number nine spot today, we're going to have a value gold pitcher, and it's going to be Freddy Peralta, man. I love Freddy Peralta. I think he's a really good card. I have him in my starting rotation right now as a budget beast, and he is an absolute animal. You can get him for about 2,000 stubs on the market, and he's just, he's really, really good. At the number eight spot today, I'm actually going to have a little bit, I know you guys probably expected him to be a little bit higher, but it's going to be Christian Yelich, man. This guy is absolutely amazing. And what I'll say about Yelly is he's got just one of those juicy swings. And like right now, whenever he's playing up versus righties, this card is elite. I put him in center because he's got 72 speed and it's the beginning of the year. I don't really care about fielding, but we're just going to have a lineup that absolutely rakes. Christian Yelich makes the eight spot. This guy is amazing. At the number seven spot today, we actually have Cedric Mullins. Now, this guy barely gets it at 4,800 stubs. Obviously, he's the top Orioles card. But the thing about Cedric is he's really 5 tool with a really good kind of skill set. He is going to hit both sides pretty well, and he's going to play pretty decent defense out there for center field. He's got 77 speed out there, too, so it's not bad at all. He's just going to be a really good card, and you're going to be wanting this guy because he is going to be one of the best 5 tool guys that you can get as a gold right now for under 5,000 subs. I do not have him yet, but one thing I will say about him is that Cedric's swing every year is always just crisp. At the number 6 spot today, we got Lance Lynn, man. Lance Lynn is a really good pitching card for under 2,000 stubs right now. You can get him for 1,200, and the thing about Lance Lynn that makes him so good is the 86 hits per 9 compared with the cutter-sinker combo is absolutely disgusting. At the number 5 spot today, man, I wanted to put him a little bit higher, but we got Big Meat Pete, man. Big Meat Pete so far, dude. Obviously, very small sample size. I haven't played that much ranked yet. He's hitting 430 for me, man. This guy is an absolute dog. And on those low tiers of ranked seasons, this guy is an absolute madman. You put him at first base, he's going to hit bombs, and he is just, he's elite, man. Especially right now with the plus 13 on the inside edge, he is max power versus lefties right now. So I'll pick up Pete Alonzo. This guy's elite, and you can get him for under 1,900 subs. At the number four spot today, we got the brand new Detroit Tiger. It's going to be Javier Baez, man. I love Javi's swing every year, and this guy is a really good five-tool shortstop right now. At the gold position in that shortstop, he's going to be about 3,900 stubs, and the thing about Javi is 
Great swing, great defense, absolute cannon of an arm with a little bit of speed out there. He's going to be good defensively. He's going to be good at the plate. This guy is an animal. You guys need him in your lineup. He's not going to disappoint. At the number three spot today, we have our first non-live series guy. It's going to be a Hunter Renfro. For about 3,300 stubs right now, you can get a guy with low contact and big power with amazing defense in right field. Now, you might be wondering, why am I recommending a guy with 39 and 54 contact? Now, the reason I'm recommending him is because the guy flat out rakes. Oh, I only have 15 at-bats to mobs. He's worried 400. The guy has a great swing, big power. He hits tanks, man. He hits tanks. You guys need to get this card. He's an animal. He's a dog. You guys are going to love him. And he's in right field. You know, he's going to be a lockdown defensively. And not only that, but this dude is just... Big power numbers, beginning of the year, Hunter Renfro, number three. At the number two spot today, we are going to have Devin Williams. Now, the thing about Devin Williams is Devin Williams is playing down right now. I understand that, but it doesn't matter, man. The dude is absolutely disgusting. Circle change, heater, cutter, screwball. They are all filthy. I know my face cam has changed is over it a little bit. But this guy is disgusting. He's absolutely filthy. And uh, you need this guy in your bullpen because he is going to clamp and lock down in the late innings of the ball game, man. This dude is so good. And at the number one spot, dude, it's your dong, your schlong, man. Your Don Alvarez is an animal. Every single year, this guy is a dog. He is playing up right now versus righties. He is one of the best hitting cards in the game. Even if you do not have him in your starting lineup, maybe you're like, I hate his defense. Yes, it sucks, but the guy just hits, man. I don't know what to say, but Jordan Alvarez's swing is as juicy and as crisp as ever. And this guy is going to be one of my budget players for a very, very long time. Yeah, I might even keep him in there as a bench bat for at least like a month of the year because I always rake at the beginning of the year with Jordan Alvarez and I am already loving this card. All right, boys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the first episode of Budget Beast and I'm going to keep on updating the series. Usually I do about one every other week. So I'll be looking forward to that. If you want to see more type of videos like this, make sure you guys hit that sub button down there and that like button as well as it helps it go out to more people. So thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you boys later and peace.